Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're going to take a look at a 2023 Venture RV Stratus, model number 291 VQB, weighs 7,100 pounds. A great weight on this guy to have a separate bunk room, separate bedroom, couch, dinette, outside kitchen. Just an awesome trailer. This one's going to have you thinking, are there more doors or wheels in the world? And I'm here with my friend, that Dutch Brad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. This has the gray exterior going on in it. You can get white, you can get blue, you can get red. They all look really, really sweet. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd appreciate it. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook producing some sweet reels on these new trailers. You should check those out as well. Right on, Brennan. What do you think? Who do you think is the m biggest mass producer of wheels in the world? Good year. That'd be Lego, my friend. We got ourselves a front power jack, a set of 20-pounder paint tanks, and then right in behind there is your battery in your box location provided by Lazy Acres. We got a battery disconnect there, aluminum framing, fiberglass skin, Asdell sidewalls, great looking front fiberglass uh, wrap, and then a front, fiber, uh, front window as well, or windshield, pass-through storage, black water flush kit, city water connection, and outside showers in our docking station. 50 empty tactical style cord, a rack and pinion style slide. Rack and pinion, baby. 15 inch Goodyear tires. Goodyear was on your mind, eh, Brendan? Yes. Sewer drain down through there, four stabilizer jacks that are manual, one on each corner. We got ourselves a roof ladder right there. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. That's a one piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. We got our class three receiver down there, good for 250 pounds. We have a two cubic foot electric fridge, suburban griddle, a sink that is plumbed in, Brandon. Love to see that too, brother. Then we have our electric awning starting just in front of our outside kitchen going way past our door. LED lights in the awning, outside speakers. Another good look at the Goodyear tires. We have our outside receptacle, furnace vent, six gallon gas, electric water heater, lend a hand, grab handle, three step entrance up and in. And then we got tank heaters on this guy, Brennan. Appreciate it. We're gonna see if that's a standard or an option, but they're on this particular VIN. We've got the screen defender. We've got the screen shot as well, closing that door for us on the fly. Let's go see what kind of travel access we have here with the slide out closed. So we can obviously get to our bedroom. And if we got creative, Brennan, how creative do I wanna get here? It's early. <gasps> Not bad, AB. Eh, Not did too you, bad. Did you see me slide? Nice it's like I'm, It's like I'm Spider-Man. And we got ourselves access to our fridge. And then you know what? I can get to the washroom here too. So if you're creative, you can make it work. If you're not creative, open the slide. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that Stratus 291 VQB. Quick little disclaimer, Brandon says he hears like a ringing right now. <laughs> um, he's trying to tell me it's an under 30 thing that he can hear. So if that's bothering you folks at home, um, sorry about that. Uh, but let's be honest, our average audience is like 60, <laughs> right? So we're probably fine. We got our theater seats right here, facing our TV, that slick, cup holders. We do have some receptacles and USBs. Windows all in behind me here. Fireplace in here too, Brennan. That's just a cool little feature we've got on a bunk model you don't see every day. Good cabin space in around that fireplace. Washroom, bedroom. We're gonna get to that 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. Don't forget, we do have the solar panel on the roof charging our battery, battery operating our fridge, microwave, rain shield, glass stove top cover, blue lights on the oven knobs with our oven down below. And then Brendan Hannemeyer. Big fan. Big fan of that little feature there. Covers up the sink. You can cut your vegetables over top of that. Stay in secure. And it says Venture on it. We love that. Live edge here to the countertop. We have a boom style faucet there with a good sized kitchen window. Decent counter space for a bunk model as well. Pop down. And then three drawers. Oh, Brendan. They also gave us the drying rack. 
Cool, 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 cool. Our entrance is right here. Our controls for our slides and for our slide and awning and lights and stuff are right there. And then check it out. We actually have a closet as we come in the model too. Continuing to our left. Pantry. Pantry. Booth dinette. You can turn that down to a secondary bed. Storage underneath that dinette through the cupboard doors. Live engine through here. And then let's show off the, the uh, little baby in there. That's nice, eh, Brandon? I love that. Boom. And then cool little archway right here, right? Yes. Yeah, that's pretty slick in through there. Imagine carrying your wife through yeah. here. Doesn't that seem just so darn romantic? We got hanging stores on either side, shelves on either side, receptacles and USBs, another arch there, and then cupboard space here with a nice little uh, picture frame right there. You can put a picture of Josh and Brandon. And then this one's got the secondary AC, which we're not going to see an older 21 VQB, so that's this particular VIN. And then just in case you need more pantry space, baby, you can use the pantry that's made for it. <laughs> we got pantry there, and then we got a closet right there above. I like that. I like that. Got best, best of both worlds there. And then here's our washroom. We've got a motion sense of light in the washroom too. Porcelain style toilet, stainless steel sink, cupboard right there covered right there and yeah the dump truck fits this the, did you see this light here B I think that's a really nice feature. just a wee little motion sense of light right so as you come in the bath the bathroom middle of the night you're good to go good style shower good size shower here for a quad bunk I'm six feet tall I fit I got a nice shower head here too flipping that around yeah slick slick right Brian? very nice all right heading into the back bunk room we got some uh flexibility in this back bunk room so it just looks like a traditional quad bunk back here which is great you can sleep four kids two of your kids with their two friends whatever your kids have friends brennan they do good for you brother. <laughs> That's one of our jobs is to make them socially acceptable at a young age but um we can turn this into a large bed here in the bottom i'm not sure if it's like a full-size queen but it's got to be pretty close we basically just throw these wood slats in an eight foot wide bed, but it's bigger than a full size. Oh, it's bed. definitely long enough, Brandon. I'm just not sure if it's wide enough, but I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. It's definitely a big bed. We'll just do this halfway. It's wide enough. I don't know if it's long enough. I guess it depends on which side you're looking at it, Brandon. <laughs> but you know what? Four to five Canadians can't swim, and we're talking about this. Take a look at that back bunk in there. I don't believe that's that. <laughs> that's an awesome bed. And these, this bunk does flip up too, if you want more space. Right on, Thanks, buddy. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have a good day.